Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Sketch for Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Kesselin game, and Kesselin is played by Noob Mafia. So um, I decided to uh, try something out. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you in the end of the video the choice between three new champions, and one of them. Well, the one that gets picked by you guys uh, in the comments, that's the one that I'm going to do next. Uh, so I'm going to set up three champions and you can choose one of those. And that way you have a little more control over what, I, uh, what I'm casting. Uh, because I know that you like certain champions and dislike other champions and especially the AD carries are kind of overdone at the moment. Because, well, they're all kind of the same. So I kind of uh, want to uh, mix it up a little bit, if you guys want to have it mixed up. So um, yeah, you have a little more uh, say in what's going to be on my channel. Anyway, Kassadin is here with his full team. So they are full pre-made. They have no jungler it seems, but neither does the enemy team, so it's all good. Um, unless this guy is just the most noob jungler you can think of, because he doesn't have smite. But yeah, well, I think he's uh, going to assist the top lane once he gets the blue buff. Because jungling without smite is of course only done by the super noobs. And um, that is of course because you have no control over, uh, over buffs, over anything really. And um, the chance of, s of, of losing a Baron or a Dragon to a Steel is just too big. Yeah, that's why you really don't want to do that. Anyway, we um, we just see some uh, uh, some boxes going up. He should have a pretty easy time taking out that blue. And um, yeah, the bottom laners are getting out of there, and we will see if he actually uh, stays in the jungle or not. But yeah, it's a crazy new move to uh, to do that. And yeah, we'll have to see if he indeed did that. But um, yeah, I don't know when this. Uh, recording was made or this uh, this game was played I should say but there are no um, special items yet uh, where normally we do see that and um, yeah it is indeed going to be kind of a support role for uh, uh, Shaco what she used a flash on that really So anyway, um, yeah, we're going to follow around Kassadin, because Kassadin is going up against Gragas, and that is going to be a hard fight. Uh, from right to beginning to kind of the mid-game, I guess. Late game, he should have no problem with uh, with Gragas, as Gragas can, uh, well, can farm pretty easily, especially in that early to mid-game uh, against someone like Kassadin. Because even though both of them are melee champions, it is uh, still very hard to uh, to get away from this kind of damage. And um, especially if you have a decent opponent. And um, yeah, because Gregus pretty much has infinite mana and pretty much has infinite health. Um, it is, uh, it's just very hard to fight against. But yeah, well. We will see if he can actually do it, but yeah, th those kind of harassments, th that's actually what's going to save him. But yeah, in the early to mid game, he's going to have some uh, some trouble, and as I said, in the late game, he should not have any trouble with that. Because, um, yeah, in the late game, he has, that, uh, he has enough mana to use his uh, Rift Walk very efficiently. He has a lot of damage, uh, he can actually build some magic resist to go up against this kind of damage and uh, he is getting pretty low I'm not actually sure if he should recall right there oh yeah that was risky I don't think he wanted to recall but he wanted to draw out some some fire here so some random skill no it's not going to work he is uh, almost full health so um, he can actually launch some, uh, some null orbs null spheres sorry null spheres I knew it was null, but yeah. So yeah, we're going to have to see if he actually manages to do anything with that. He does have his um, his slow up here, so his uh, force pulse, and combining that with the null sphere would actually result in a kill, probably, because that means a slow and uh, 
silence. And that should be good enough. Yes. He does get the kill. It's just that uh, the ignite finished him off. Yeah. Things like that happen. Um, the Cassidin should have lost that. Uh, well, should have been uh, recalling. Well, the, no, the, let, let me put that another way. Gregor should have made Cassidin recall way earlier than that. Um, it's just that he kind of messed up there and that's why he lost a fight where he was about half health and well not half I guess one third health and Cassidin was at no health at all and he's well the, the Greg is still lost and that's because of the yeah of the, the, the uh, power of Cassidin I guess combining those skills will really cripples your opponent and that is exactly what uh, what was needed. So it doesn't really matter who I put where because there is no real um, task for everyone. Who's this? Hang on. Oh, that's this guy, Nidalee. So Nidalee has, um, yeah, while well, we see <laughs> another kill, Nidalee has a new s uh, picture as well, I guess. Um, so these guys are top. And these guys are bottom lane. And bottom lane, yeah, they do have a real uh, AD plus support. And we also have uh, an AD plus support, but I'm not actually sure. No, she's actually in top lane. I'm not sure who's uh, who else is here. Okay, this should be it. So it should be somewhat like this then. Yeah, okay. Let's go for that. So that's um, the top lane. Yeah, we're winning. Even though, uh, well, we're only one kill ahead, it's not about that, it's about the millions, it's always about the millions. Mid lane is pretty much equal, I mean two millions is not going to make the difference. Um, the bottom lane, yeah, we're also winning, because we have way more millions. So, uh, all in all, yeah, there's a, a two, for, two versus one kill difference here, and... Um, in the bottom lane, the enemies have one kill. In the top lane, we have one kill. So Greg is doing his best to get the kill here, but not really managing to do anything. Uh, anything that makes Cassidin really scared. Anyway. Um, yeah, we have some magic penetration boots, while Gregus is going for the defensive boots. Which would be my style of uh, Gregus, which is not good, by the way. Gragas needs to be uh, built with uh, the magic penetration boots or the sorcerer's shoes. Because really, you want to be as aggressive as possible. And can he actually manage... Oh yeah, he does have his four spells. Oh no, 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 never mind. It's up to three. So he still needs to cast a few spells be before he can use that. And oh, he's getting really low. Jump. Didn't have it up, I guess. Hang on thought he still had his um, because I didn't see him rift walk so he, sh he of course once this jump comes in here he sees the the Shaco and should have immediately rift walked over here and hopes to get out now how did you miss the bush there dude how is it really that hard to aim anyway it doesn't matter uh, the uh, Shaco does get out of here, and it is um, Katarina who's taking over this mid lane, which is fine. We're just not wa uh, watching you today, uh, Katarina. We've watched enough of your games and your trolley noob moves. But yeah, we're just continuing on with, um, uh, well, with this, uh, this, uh, I guess, combat in mid lane. It is, uh, it's not a really big deal. Um, yeah, I was wondering, should I give you the choice right now? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you watch the game, then you get to choose. So, w once you get here, I guess you watch the game. Otherwise, you're just going to scroll to the end, if I put it all the way in the end. But uh, the choice is between uh, Fizz, Evelyn, and Mundo. You can choose between those three. Leave a comment on which one you want to see, or make like a list, uh, like one, two, three, in which order you want to see them. And um, yeah, next game, 
I do, I'll do one of those. Well, maybe not next game because I don't know if um, enough people have uh, voted on it before next game. And yeah, if you just stand there, he's just going to tower dive you, dude. Although she does have the the heal coming in. And wow, no! Almost missed the kill there. Yeah, that was the ignite. That's what I thought, but uh, almost missed the kill because he uh, he backed off after that rift walk. You never back off until you see the you have killed an enemy. I guess slain an enemy. But yeah, you never want to uh, want to miss a kill just because you uh, you went out a little bit too early. Nice. Yeah, the Rift Orc does a lot of damage. He, uh, he doesn't seem to use it that much, but um, it does uh, a lot of damage. Well, I guess the main thing is that Rift Orc, uh, is well has a pretty decent amount of AP uh, ratio on it. So early game it won't do that much damage, especially at level 1. Because 77, yeah, that's about the same as everything else. But yeah, the... Uh, the level up, of course, of the other skills makes that they do way more damage, and uh, it's a pretty hefty price if you uh, if you want to use it multiple times at least. Uh, the first time is pretty affordable, 100 mana. Yeah, that's pretty good for uh, for a flash. I would definitely go for that. But um, yeah, the second one is 200 mana, and then 300, and then 400. Yeah, and that becomes really pricey. And it stacks up to 10 times, but it does deal double damage then, the second time. Third time, just triple damage, but it's uh, it's basically, you get to uh, to do more damage, but you have to pay more for it. And, oh, missed the, the rifts. Uh, I forgot, the slow. A force pulse, yeah. The force pulse. Anyway, we need to get out of here. And just recall straight up. Yeah, someone targeted him. That's kind of obvious. And it seems that Gregas is coming in. No, just recall. Dude. Oh, yeah, he wanted to finish that kill. And he did gain quite a lot of health from that. That is uh, an amazing amount of health he just got. Oh, that's uh, from, from the healer. That's why it was such an amazing amount of health. I was like... He can't have runes that do that much. And wow, it seems that everyone is uh, currently buying this uh, this tier of the goddess. Because we have three guys. We have uh, the Cassid uh four guys, sorry. Cassidin. We have uh, Soraka here. Then we have the Shaco. And we have the Dragus. So I guess everyone is buying it. That's quite significant. Only this guy not buying it. I don't know why. I wonder why. Maybe someone should uh, recommend it as an item to her, because apparently it's really good now. I don't know. It's um, it seems that um, people like it more now that it's uh, well, it has an upgrade on the scepter and such. I don't know. It uh, it seems strange. And no, we're not going to get this guy. Of course not. That would be crazy. Wow, he actually flashed out of that and he used his ultimate just because the Teemo was chasing him, who could never finish him off, by the way. But yeah, it seems that um, we are, oh, we should be helping out this, uh, this poor Soraka because poor Soraka is getting owned. And oh man, just going in there and getting the kill. Yeah, of course, it would have been better to just run. And uh, not go all the way over here to try to get the Shaco. Because Shaco, he was gone, man. He was gone. Yeah, this is kind of my type of Gragas ultimate. Like, yeah, yeah I could have done better there. <laughs> Let's just say that. No, I tend to uh, miss Gragas ultimate all the time. And also build him very tanky because I like tanky Gragas. I like tanky everyone. But yeah, that's just my playstyle and people really yeah they uh, 
they blame me a lot for if we lose, but if we win for some reason, then I, I'm never the one that uh, that did well. So, yeah, they never compliment me for, for my plays. They always just say, oh man, you noob, you built way too much tanky items. If my playstyle warrants the use of tanky items, then I'm going to go tanky items. So yeah, we um, we currently are all in mid, it seems, except for this one guy and this one guy. So um, we're going to follow that in a moment once he arrives. And he's running around the bush right now, and we are going to see what happens here. This should be a pretty easy kill. Oh, he misses the rift walk, almost gets the kill, but then some kind of a heal going off. I don't know what heal that was. Oh, the actual heal heal. Um, that was, uh, yeah, that could have been a kill right there, but he missed like, I don't know, 50 damage maybe. So if he landed that Rift Orc, basically he would have, uh, so that first Rift Orc, he would have uh, had to kill, because then the second one would have done uh, 60 more damage. Oh no, the, sorry, the first one would have done 60 damage, and that probably would have been enough. I think that was under 100 health. And uh, anyway, we saw that uh, the uh, Pantheon was too late on his heal. And yeah, he uh, he probably didn't realize that. He probably thought he was just in time. But we saw the damage going down first and then the heal bringing it back up. So basically, if you want to get out of that kind of a situation, you're better off just healing a little bit sooner. Because uh, obviously... He if you're like him, you don't have the, the skills to uh, or the reflexes to uh, heal in time. And that is just going to suck balls. So, um, yeah, we're just once again in mid, just duking it out. Uh, not a whole lot of action going on for the rest. And um, I guess that's just the way it is. So this guy, um, yeah, picking up the red buff, that's fine. Shaco going down. Well, actually he's clone. But sh sh don't tell them. It's a secret, man. Wow, so many mushrooms here. This is, by the way, a good defense for mushrooms. Nobody's going to run into multiple mushrooms. And, yeah, you have a pretty good protection there. Oh, wow, he went down to the poison. Or, yeah, I think to the poison, because Timo was all the way in the back, so, uh, um, yeah, I missed the kill over here, it seems. Let's, let's rewind. We have the rewind button, so why not use it? So, um, yeah, just look at the amount of damage there. That is insane damage. And just surviving that, not even getting the wish from Soraka. Although Soraka could have done a great deal of, uh, or made a great difference there. But, yeah, well, it takes uh, it takes some skill to see when you need to use that. Because you need to keep track of all kinds of team fights, uh, or all kinds of fights while you're doing your own thing. And she apparently didn't see what was going on. Because otherwise, I think she would have used that. Is that... 200, 300 extra health would have really helped out. Uh, this tower is going to go down because nobody is there to blue protect it. Has been destroyed. Yeah, blue team now finally saw it because now someone pinged. But yeah, that was too late. It was way too late to do anything about it. And we are just going to go mid lane with the entire red team and the entire blue team. And. Come on, run into the mushroom. Yeah, good, good boy, good boy. So Pantheon doing some damage, but not enough to actually make them scared of him. And this is going to get close, because now three guys are really close to dying. Okay, now two guys are really close to dying. And they do pick up another kill. Shaco goes down as well. Rift Walk! Oh yes, he does get the Rift Walk, but in the complete wrong direction. Riftwalk should have gone over here, of course. And Timo gets a double kill. That's excellent. 
But two guys still low. And oh, this Katharina might actually be able to tower dive this guy at least. But she's not going to. <laughs> that was one bouncing blade away from uh, getting a kill. But I guess she wants to stay safe and um, yeah, you're not going to kill this guy. But no, stay closer to her so she can shun Po. It's Timos. I, I, I don't know. That's just crazy talk, man. So yeah, we do get the wish now for some reason. Uh, she just used it. Yeah, there you go. I d don't really understand why she would use it right now. Yeah, this guy is uh, very dead. That was damage into slow into, well, just crazy. And yeah, there's, uh, there was really no way he was going to get out of that. He should have uh, retreated way earlier. Because he knew that they killed like three guys at the same time. So they're going to come back at the same time. And especially with that Chico just recalling. Uh, the chances of that, uh, them re returning in a group are just way higher than you would expect. Oh wow, this was uh, a little bit too far forward, but okay. He gets a kill, so uh, no worries, no worries. 11 and 6 currently, but he is carrying this team, so he needs to watch out what he's doing, because um, yeah, if they lose him, they lose 7200 gold. And um, unless you kill the Tristana, that is not worth it. So, and Tristana is still here, and she has the red buff. So, yeah, that is um, that's going to be an issue, of course, because she can actually take out the steward pretty easily if she gets some uh, some help from a teammate. They need to clear this wave way way quicker, and that's because uh, Gregus is kind of derping around with his skills. Yeah, there you go, she gets out. Um, they do pick up a kill. Uh, but yeah, it's for Soraka, so it's not really a big deal. Um, because Soraka can't really do anything. Oh yeah, let's let's just run up to the barrel and take the damage. Because that is what the pros do. I, I don't really understand these kind of plays. Why would you run in an entirely empty lane? Why would you run to the one spot where there's damage? I mean, yeah, that's just that's just crazy talk, man. So the Force Pulse is charging up. Would be great if Force Pulse could actually stack charges, but I guess that would be OP. Oh, the heal went down. Yeah, it is good enough. It is good enough. Yeah, she's not AP Tristana, so... Uh, I kind of expected more damage, but yeah, of course that doesn't really do any damage. It does a lot of damage when you're, uh, you're it does 150 damage, but oh no, sorry, 230 magic damage. But yeah, if you're AP Tristana, then yeah, it does a way more damage than that, and then it's a really scary skill. No, run away! Oh my God! Yeah, everyone got out, or, well, almost got out. And, no, once again, running in. At least he got the Tristana this time, so then it's worth it, as I said. And, are we going to get the kill? Yes, nice. Timo doing a good job. Timo actually is building AP. And there goes the heal once again. So, yeah, not really... Uh, the Soraka not really aware when her heal is needed and when it's not needed because in this case they had well everyone at almost perfect health but yeah they did let the Kassadin die without giving him that heal and that is just uh, not the way it's supposed to be of course Anyhow, Timo gets killed here, and um, yeah, we uh, we am trying. We are tr sorry. We are trying to uh, get the revenge kill here. And is this guy AP? Yeah, of course. That kind of goes without saying. If you see his play, then um, 
yeah, you kind of expect him to, get, to go AP. Because, um, yeah, you see AP uh, uh, Shakos always make the same kind of mistakes. And yeah, I guess that's just the way it is. I mean, it's just the new players and the uh, inexperienced players like to go AP champion, so AP Teemo, AP uh, Shaco, uh, not so much AP Tristana, because that is actually really hard to play. But it's really fun to play, so I'm not saying that it's not, but um, yeah. The, uh, the, the, the main thing is that if you see an inexperienced Shaco, like this guy, that makes a lot of mistakes, uh, especially in that early game, then um, you know he's going AP. And that's what I figured, and yeah, now I know for sure, but... He does have a longsword now. I'm not actually sure what that's doing there. Because he's not finishing his items. This should be a uh, Rod of the Ages a long time ago. This should be... Uh, uh, what's it called? Archangel Staff. Not so much a long time ago uh, on that. But... Uh, yeah, he should make a choice of what he wants. Wow, and that damage. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, we get a triple kill. Very nicely done. I missed the first kill though. Okay, coming in over here. That's cool. And oh, Rift walking out of there. He could have helped his team there. Um, yeah, we get four kills then. Coming in to steal the kill. Of course, that's not a problem. But yeah, now that he's 17 and 7, he really can't die anymore. Because if he dies. The team loses so much gold. Timo, by the way, also farming up quite nicely. He has a large amount of minions here. And that is going to uh, win them the game. Those kind of plays or those kind of farm rates are going to win them the game. Um, so Katarina getting an easy kill on uh, uh, Nidalee. Nidalee has a new character model as well, it seems. Really better developed character model. Because the previous one was kind of too much of comic book style. I mean, it's all comic book style, uh, well, just drawing. But, um, yeah, she was too, mu too much of a comic book style, I guess. And, oh, this guy running into three enemies. Well, actually four with Cassidy in there, but uh, it is uh, Cassidy who picks up the kill. And he just went to... oh, he went to scout for another kill there. I guess he's coming in from behind now. No, maybe, who knows. And there you go, double kill for Katharina. That means that um, she has some really reduced cooldowns now. Yeah, already has her death loaders back up. And that means she can actually do a lot of damage in that next fight as well. Oh, missed! Yeah, it doesn't matter. He missed the Rift Walk, but it doesn't really matter. Because the Rift Walk was not the most important skill to have there. The Force Pulse did way more damage. But yeah, with uh, the blue buff, he can pretty much spam that Rift Walk all the way long. And it's now doing, uh, yeah, as you can see, 70 plus 280 damage. And yeah, that's done, of course, because they want to have him do a lot of damage in that... Uh, uh, in that late game with it, but not in the early game because that would be too powerful. So that's why you have a good AP ratio on that, but low base values. And um, yeah, it's just it's a great skill to have. The Rift Walk is probably one of my favorite uh, ultimates to see in action. Not to use because I'm not a really good Kassadin player. I can play him, but it's not like he's hard to play. Oh, that was a fail on the rift walk. Yeah, he uh, he completely failed there because that rift walk is only like from here to here, and it has way bigger range. But he probably uh, underestimated the amount of damage that would come out of uh, the enemy team there. Oh, we almost got the kill on this guy, but nobody's going to pick up that kill. And oh. Oh, that was so close. Come on, run into the mushroom. 
Make me happy! Yeah, he's dead. There you go, Timo getting that kill. And uh, unfortunately, they do ace us. <sighs> That's because, as I said, Cassidy died and then they lose the team fight. It's the same always. So I'm trying to, to tell you that in every game. But it's the same deal always. It's the same for the enemy team. If they lose this Tristana, they lose the team fight as well. Uh, if Cassidy is still alive, that is. But look at the amount of damage Cassidy does. It's just insane amounts of damage. Wow, it's still a long way off. I would have expected him to have more than 518. Um, yeah, of course, you want to have that stacked as soon as possible. Yeah, it takes 250 spells. And since uh, it has to be 3 seconds apart, I don't know what they made of it. Yeah, 3 seconds cooldown. So um, it used to be different. You used to be able to do 2 in 6 seconds. So you could do 2 spells and then it would go on to cooldown. Um, yeah, anyway, with 3 seconds in between them, that means that you need at least 750 seconds, but most of the time you need way more than that. Uh, yeah, so um, it depends of course on how your champion plays. Kassadin is a burst caster, kind of. Uh, so he uses all of his spells at the same time, which means that every burst is giving you one stack. Uh, because you're you're casting everything with it within that three second period, and yeah, that of course does not make for a good uh, stack. Uh, well, a good amount of stacks on uh, on this thing. But yeah, that's uh, that's the way it is. I mean, that's the way it uh, it is with Cassidin. And um, wow, he actually got out of that. No riff walk. Come on, Timo! Timo gets a kill there, but does not land the next kill. And... Are we going to pick it up? Oh no, now you die! Come on! Oh my god! The stun was in the air! Oh my god! Yeah, I guess luck for the win! <laughs> no, that was just uh, timing, man. That was purely timing. Yeah, if um, uh, that that what's his face Pantheon was smart, he would have backed off until he had the uh, spear up, and then he would have easily gotten that. So yeah, they're waiting around here for the minions to uh, to clean up that tower. And why would you alter? I guess the alt is uh, is no big deal with. Uh, with Shaco, especially with AP Shaco, because all it does is do damage when you uh, when it explodes. Um, what are you doing, Katharina? Oh, this guy flashing to get killed. Why? Why would you flash to get killed? I mean, the point of flash is to flash into a kill, not into a death. <laughs> Or to um, to get out of uh, getting killed, of course. But that's kind of the same difference. Come on, use your ultimate. Oh, she got out. Okay, excellent. So yeah, she drew out quite a lot, and unfortunately, yeah, this guy now comes in and is going to own them all. Oh man, Soraka doing a lot of damage there. What? Oh right, she started with that uh, uh, the, the, the Archangel Staff and now she has the Seraph's Embrace, which is excellent. And it gives her a whole lot of AP and yeah, just stacking on more AP, going for the uh, Rylas Crystal Scepter now. And that is of course awesome! It's awesome to see her do damage. But I did not expect her to be able to take out the AD carry on the enemy team, who is super fat. I mean, 11,000 gold when the rest is at like 8 or 9, this guy even at 5. That is, uh, yeah, that's pretty fat. Of course, compared to these guys, 
it's still not a whole lot. And plus, she's at 9,000 herself, so not doing too badly. Um, yeah, she has the uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem here. Which means she can uh, she can deal with uh, the jungle monsters. And did she steal it? Hang on. Yeah, she did. That's what I feared. It looked like she stole it, but she indeed did steal it. Come on, Timo, help her out! Wow, that was good enough. And the heal from Soraka coming in very late because she couldn't reach. But at least she used her wish this time. She used it correctly, and uh, she actually healed in the first part of that team fight, and that went exactly as planned. Yeah, that was uh, that was excellent. Here. We are going to grab the Baron, I think, and there is Tristana. Tristana is going to jump in and do some damage. No, she's not going to jump in. Wow, what kind of a pussy are you? She had everything up, including her ultimate. There was no way she didn't get a kill there. And if you get a kill, you get a free... Uh, oh, that's Phil. Um, yeah, if you get a kill, you get that uh, uh, rocket jump back. So it seems that uh, the enemy decided to surrender at 53 to 28. Yeah, it's kind of time to surrender at that point. You can see 60k gold versus 45. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty far ahead. 33% ahead, in fact. And, uh, yeah, there was just really no way to deal with this team except to kill both Cassidin and Timo before they could take out their Tristana. But, yeah, that was never going to work because uh, they basically one-shot the Tristana and even the Soraka could kill the Tristana at this point, uh, as we saw. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG!